Hi guys, it's me Pia Pai once again and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you what's inside my trolley bag. I know everybody is so curious about what's inside a flight attendant trolley bag and today I'm going to share that with you. By the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Pia Pai and I'm an international flight attendant based in the Middle East and I do travel vlogs, cabin crew tips and stuff like that. So if you want to get updated with me, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get updates whenever I upload a new video. Like. Alright, so let's all begin now. So this trolley bag has been with me for the past seven and a half years. The brand of this uh, bag is Delcy. Um, the new um, cabin crew in our company, they have a different kind of bag. However, I don't want to change it actually because I love this bag because it's um, very sturdy and um, it's uh, very durable. So yeah, that's the reason why I don't want to change it. Anyway, um, there's three compartments of this uh, trolley bag. One is this one, the second one is this, this is the smallest one, and third one would be this part. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open this one first. Right, so I have two items here. I have my um, gloves. I use this. This is a company issued gloves during for winter actually. This suits with a uniform, so I always have it with me because sometimes you know you go to a winter country and you forget about your gloves. So I better have it here with me. And then this one is actually I don't normally use it, but this is. Um, a spectacle um, I we are actually required to bring it if you don't have a perfect vision and in my medical certificate I have to actually have this otherwise if there's an auditor I can get uploaded if I don't bring it with me so it's always kept here but I don't use it anyway here ta -da! all right so this one um, we are using it right now because of the pandemic um, we are actually um, having a PPE now what it means is it's a protective uh, equipment so we have this overall um, protective gear already um, if you go on board you will see us wearing this with a mask and the gear and then also I have this um, what is this a Dio. this is very cute and I don't normally use it because I have it in my toilet items, but I always just bring it here in case I forget to, you know, put something. All right, this one um, is a shoe polish because of course um, grooming, they will have to check if you polish your shoes properly, so it's always with me here. And then here I also have a clunky kit for those of you who are new here or who doesn't know what is a plunky kit for flight attendants it, it only it always contains with the essentials in the flight let's say stapler or um, seal cutter um, maybe pencil pen or what else uh, stapler scissors um, you can also have what else uh, markers safety pin calculators so everything that you actually need and the flight you can put it here we also have flashlights actually i have two kinds of flashlights but this one i have it here i also have my extra scrunchie my this is uh, my cable for the phone and this one for the ladies so yeah everything is in here but this doesn't include the toilet items so it's only the plunky kit that's needed for the flight here as well, I have my sweets. Um, that's normally if I haven't eaten anything or I need to have to have some sugar, so I just grab a 
M&M. It's always there. I don't normally eat now. And this one is another wallet that I use every time I go for a little layover. By the way guys, I'm here in Sao Paulo right now. And the reason why I'm making this vlog because I didn't go out. We, I, we actually arrived here two days ago and I didn't plan to go out. So that's why I'm making this vlog. Um, so this wallet is um, what I always use when I go out, especially if it's uh, not so safe country because um, it happened to me already before that um, I lost my passport in Greece so I don't want to I don't want to have the same experience again so yeah that's why now I'm bringing this one so I'll just transfer a few um, dollars or a few bills I'm not even gonna bring the whole wallet that I have because um, everything is there so if you lose it all IDs all your cards are there so what I do is I just put enough money here or maybe one credit card and that's it all right so that's all we have in here now let's go and open this one and you will be shocked Ta-da! all right so let's go and see what's in here first so here I have a spare stocking you really need it um, in case your stocking is torn so that is very important and of course that's very important we really have to have it in case let's say passenger spilled something on you and you know accidents happen so better be be ready and this one um i'm so glad guys because um this is actually very timely because I have my pajama. Uh, why am I having a pajama? Well, actually, um, from Doha to here, it would be around 15 hours of flying time. So basically, we have rest on board. And in the bunk, we have to wear our pajama. They have to present it. Anyway, I have my pajama here and I have my socks because it's quite cold in the compartment. So yes, we go for rest. Or depends um, if we finish our service right away maybe we could have around five hours of rest and yes so pajama for sleeping and then of course we have our service items we have this is our apron Ta -da. all right I'm not gonna open it this one is my shoes it's a cabin shoe so after take off we have to change it to this one to flat shoes and apron but since nowadays um, we are wearing the uh, PPE or the protective gear we don't use it for now until further notice what we only use is the shoes and then I have this. This is the PPE, guys. This is the protective gear. Um, it's disposable, so we always change it to. We change, not change, but we we wear this after we reach on board, and have this one. So this one is actually very large. It's XXL. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And the last but not the least. And the most important part of this trolley is this. Okay, not, this is not a YSL, but what's inside is the most important one. So I have here extra business attire. I have extra uniform, like full set of uniform. Um, I have my scarf as well, and I have my cas camisole. Um, business attire because there are times that you there are interruptions and you have to come back deadheading. Deadheading means you will come back as a passenger and you won't be wearing your uniform. And then of course I have to have a spare uniform because in case um, something goes wrong then you can change it right away. And then of course I have a few underwear here and of course panty liners and that's it. Alright, 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video, guys. Um, please write your comments down below if you want me to discuss about anything. I'll be more than happy to help you guys with all of your queries. And um, yes, uh, always fulfill your dreams. Don't ever give up on fulfilling your dreams. And I'll see you again next time, okay? Bye for now.